This is Ben with bkashaaudio.com. In this video, I'll show you how to configure a MIDI controller so that notes you play on the MIDI controller will be recorded in the Ardor Digital Audio Workstation. If this is your first time using audio in Linux, be sure to check out my article linked in the video description below that explains the initial setup steps you have to go through to get the appropriate amount of latency and the appropriate configuration. I currently have Ardor open on my desktop and I have a small sample session here. So we have a small synthesized loop. And what I want to do is I want to be able to play in a melody using a MIDI controller. So I have an Akai Max 49 here on my desk and I want to set that up so that I can play the melody using a VST in Ardor. The first thing we want to make sure of is if we click on Window, we'll select Audio MIDI Setup. And your Audio MIDI Setup should be utilizing the Jack D audio system. So you can see here I have Jack selected. If you don't see this, select it. And if you have no idea what Jack D is, again, check the article that I've written linked in the video description that will get you up and running with that initial setup. Once we've determined that we have Ardor using Jack D, we can set up the MIDI controller as an input for a new track. Let's configure a new track by right-clicking anywhere in this panel. This will bring up an Add Track dialog box, and we want to select Audio MIDI Tracks. When we select this, you receive a pop-up that says Audio MIDI Tracks are only for use with plugins. We're going to use a plugin on this track, so we'll click OK. And we want a stereo track because we're using a stereo plugin and I'm going to use the Helm LV2 synth. Select Add and Close. Now I've added this, and let's call this Synth Lead. And right now, we hear nothing. We have an initial preset opened up in Helm, so we should be hearing at the very least a sign tone. What we have to do is configure our MIDI controller to be routed to our Synth Lead track. Select Window, scroll down to MIDI Connections, and click. For faster access, you can use Shift-Alt-M, and this will open up that window. We want to route our MIDI control surface to our track. So on the left-hand side, we'll select Other, which will show us our MIDI inputs. And on the bottom, where it says Destinations, we'll select Ardor Tracks. And you can see the inputs of all our individual tracks. We want to route the MAX49 to the Synth Lead In. We'll click here, and this will route the MAX49 to the Synth Lead In. And we can confirm this by simply playing something on the keyboard. And we have MIDI input. Now in order to record this, be sure that you record enable the track, and when we begin recording, you'll see MIDI notes appear in the timeline. One important thing to note, if we switch to Mixer View, is if the session is playing back and we try and play something, you won't hear anything. So right now, I hear the synth. If I play back the session and try and play, we don't hear anything. In order to be able to hear the synth while playing back, you must enable input monitoring. So if you click input and then play back, you can then hear the track. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to like and subscribe and find more useful tutorials at bkashaaudio.com.